about the sink. Just had a small disaster there, getting my stuff back in my bag. The strap has just snapped. That holds it closed. So yeah, I'm not really sure how that's gonna go. Richard's gonna come to the rescue, I think, with some <laughs> electrical tape. Uh, yes, I think that's gonna have to stay closed for the rest of the day now. <laughs> Why? We're getting ready to escape the train station. We've bodged the bag. We're feeling slightly less tired than last night. Yes. And we're ready to get back home. Still a lovely day, so should be quite fun. The wind's picking up though, so hopefully it's a tailwind. <laughs> I hope so. One? Uh, no, I think you're all right. <laughs> There's the road to the aisles up there on the right. Do I see that? Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. I think I'd maybe like to do it the other way. So you get that descent <laughs> and not that climb. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, we're heading down pretty much the same route as yesterday, but we're heading around the other side of Loch Ossian, which is quite nice to change it up, but it is a significantly rougher track and I don't know if you can probably hear it in the background I'm having a handlebar bag nightmare with my small frame so I think I've stopped five times already and we've only done three miles to try and fix it but we'll see how we get on, it's a beautiful day outside Handlebar bag update We've now got an inner tube <laughs> holding the whole thing up because in a rage we tried to tighten it more and snapped the whole strap off, so... That was me. Yeah. <laughs> At least he admitted it! <laughs> At least he admitted it! Um, yeah, so that's happened and I've picked up a small injury as well. <laughs> I'm quite done. And she's hungry! I know! <laughs> Hangry! <laughs> oh my god! Yes, and this is the current state of track we're on, which is just not good for the bag. I'm not that bothered myself, but see when the bags like throw me over the handlebars, it's not the one. And you've got 30 miles to go of this. Woohoo! Oh, okay. oh my god, babe. <laughs> We've upped it to two inner tubes. I've clipped my bar and um, I strapped around my bar. Almost had a cry, but um, <laughs> I'm all good. I've also downed one of my packs of sweets um, as we were off this. <laughs> Richard's starting to get slightly done with me, I think. <laughs> I've stopped very many times, yeah. but the surface has obviously improved now. We're heading back out the estate, so hopefully. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Just filling up our bottles with some fine Scottish mountain water. Nice. You gone for a swim yet? <laughs> <It's tempting. laughs> so we've just exited out of the Karoo estate back into what's the other one called? Adverki. Adverki. Very Scottish. But we've just stopped to notice. There's a load of tadpoles living in the cattle grid puddle. What the heck? I don't even know if you can see it. 
Little babies. Little frog babies. More descending coming before the impending doom of the hill. Yes, we're descending a lot, which means there's a big hill coming. Oh, no, no, no. Thankfully not that one ahead of the snow, it? Yeah, not that one. <laughs> I, hope. I know. That would, we'd just have it all. Bike brakes, sun, wind, and then if we had snow, that might <laughs> fulfil <really is. laughs> Back to the old grind. <laughs> and it's absolutely scorching. Richard's having a nightmare in this black kit. Yes, I needed to lose a bit of weight. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sweat it out. suffering <laughs> and yeah couldn't pace the same route all the way home so we thought we'd change it up a little bit on the tarmac get the speed up after the, all the faffing at the start but yeah it's been a great weekend surprised that that held all the way home <laughs> to be fair there's not exactly much space oh yes but we've made it back hope you enjoyed the ride and thank you all so much for watching as always a wee 60 mile off-roader in the Scottish Highlands I'll see you next week